This crazy looking wedge is the easiest way to add an accurate flop shot to your game. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's the Dune Club, 56 degrees. But if you flip it this way, it says 95. 95, oh, oh 95. Ah, uh, the 90s were a great decade. This wedge, which I picked up at napgolf.com is really interesting looking and it kind of intrigued me. And what I got it for and expected it to do, I think it does, but it's not really what it's great at. What I really think it's good for is adding an accurate flop shot around the green, but I'll explain that in a minute here. First of all, I just want to show you what this little thing looks like. This is the bottom of it, and it looks like the bottom of a driver or fairway wood almost. It's almost perfectly flat here. And what it doesn't have, like a lot of wedges, is any bounce at all, really. It just has like this flat edge. And I think that's actually one of the problems here. I mean, look how far beyond the blade it goes now i want to show you here at address you see the back edge of this flange just sticking out man it is pretty big i mean that is the biggest sole of any club i've ever seen save a driver right and it has these little ridges on it these little rails here i don't know that they do anything but it does look pretty cool it's kind of this dark charcoal look to it it's actually a pretty smart looking club and for a wedge i have never seen anyone do anything like this before now this is the same company where i bought my hummingbird 70 degree wedge and so i'm actually really excited that they made this because a 56 degree wedge like this or as i might call it a chipper is something that really hasn't existed now one of the things that has carried over from that hummingbird is this straight line here this band in the middle which actually makes it really easy to align you can tell right at address whether you are aligned open or closed to the target so i really like that i will also say that this head and this whole club is lighter than i expected it's actually i think completely hollow which actually makes this really interesting sounding when you do hit the ball with it it actually kind of sounds like you are chipping with a driver it has this hollow ting sound to it it's just got this ting and it's a little disconcerting when you hit it because normally when you hit a wedge you don't hear any sounds to it but this one absolutely has a little ting like you are hitting a driver but you get used to it pretty quickly here all right i also want to show you that it comes with this dune wedge flex graphite shaft here it's all black too it actually looks pretty good while it says wedge flex which i usually take to mean very stiff it actually has maybe a regular flex stiffness to it maybe a little bit stiff but it does come with a graphite shaft, which I actually really like. And because this head here is hollow and you get this graphite shaft, it's surprisingly light. It's probably the same weight as any other wedge, but it just looks like it's going to be really heavy. And then it does come with their standard grip on it. I've actually gone ahead and re-gripped it with this wind dry tack, less taper grip, because especially when I'm using a wedge, I tend to choke down on it a little bit. So this is not the standard grip on here, but I actually think everything about this looks pretty good. It's a weird, but to me, a nice looking club kind of an idea that i've always wanted to play with but until now no one's actually made it now one of the things that i thought this would be really good for is really tight lies sand shots those types of things use it like a regular wedge and while you can you can certainly hit this like a regular wedge i don't think the swing weight is all that different what does happen here is that the face is just slightly offset as you can see and while you can hit it just like a regular wedge it doesn't really play that much different and because it doesn't have any bounce to speak of, I don't know that you would actually want to play this as a wedge because especially when you're kind of coming down on that ball, maybe the ball's really far back in your stance, you've got a pretty steep angle of attack on it. You know, you want a decent amount of bounce here to make sure that you just don't drive that club head into the ground. And because this doesn't have any really, because it's flat, I mean, I feel like I could put this on the ground and have it just stand straight up and down. This can actually dig into the ground. And so while I thought it wouldn't dig, it does dig. And I think bounce is going to save from that even a short flange high bounce club i think is going to be better for you know those tight lies soft ground soft sand those types of things and so while you can use it like out of the sand it wasn't really playing sand shots really any better and then i thought well maybe if the ball is sitting up on the sand it's something that i can just sweep along and i don't have to worry about it digging into the sand too and i would say that that can work too i probably still wasn't getting enough launch on the ball out of the sand because you are really still having to hit it on the downswing here and you tend to get a little sand in there and that kind of tends to take away some of the launch off the ball here so while it does work like a wedge i actually don't think it's better than most wedges for most typical wedge shots you know your three-quarter swing and so you're probably still better off in my opinion with your standard wedge now what is it really good for then pete well 
I would say that instead of the Dune Wedge, you got to think of this as the Dune 56 degree chipper. And actually what I ended up doing here was just trimming down the shaft a little bit, getting it a little closer to putter length. And what I realized for me is that because it doesn't have bounce, but it has this flat edge, assuming that I just do a square to square shoulder rock type of shot here, and I just graze the ground, I don't have to worry about it going into the ground. This will give me a lot of surface area to kind of float on the grass here, and I can kind of sweep through the ball and use this as a chipper so for very short shots but instead of a normal chipper being something like 37 degrees like an eight iron that tends to send the ball kind of in a shallow arc this one will send it at a 50 to 60 degree launch angle right so that's going to get you more height and especially on the short shots i think this really excels so as a chipper with 56 degrees i think this is great because now i can line up on those short shots say 20 yards in and even really have some confidence at 20 feet in so on a regular 37 degree chipper what i would say is that you really need to use it on shots that are at least 20 feet out and i would say 10, 15 yards out is probably its sweet spot. But for something like this, where maybe a lot of us bogey golfers are putting the ball really close to the green, maybe a few feet off of the green, and then we don't have a lot of green to work with, we can get that ball to flop onto the green, keep it right on line, and even read the green a little bit, let it break towards the hole, but you can fly this ball three, four, five feet and then have it stop within three, four, five feet as well. So this is really good for that 15, 10 foot shot just because of how high it will launch the ball. And you can actually take this back and actually get a decent little swing through it. You know, if you bring this back about two feet and punch through that ball, you know, I think that's going to be a really good 10 to 15 foot shot in most cases, really accurate. So I think a lot of people that struggle with the up and down, maybe you have a wedge, maybe you've tried really high lofted wedges, maybe you take your wedge, you try to open it up a little bit, you try to get that flop shot in, but you're trying to cut down on the ball. And I've just seen people duff a lot of shots, you know, they, they've got enough power, but they cut into the ground or they bounce the club before the ball, or maybe they scald it. Sometimes the same short chip for them will go two feet or it'll go 20 feet. But this I think is really consistent because now I can just set up like a putt to the ball here and just chip through it. Only flew maybe three or four feet and then rolled another three or four feet beyond that. So in most cases, that would actually be a hard ball to fly and stop in that short a distance unless you're really good with those weak lofted wedges here, which a lot of people aren't. That's why people love people like Phil Mickelson who have really mastered that kind of stuff. So this will get you that high launching short shot and stay very accurate, especially with this little alignment line on this bad boy. So if you're one of those bogey golfers that get your shots close to the green, but you find yourself in that position where you've got to go up and down, get the ball close, you try to one putt. Sometimes you're only 10, 15 feet away, but in the rough, and you're just worried about having your next shot also be 10 or 15 feet away. I think this is something that will give you that accurate flop shot and help you get back some of those putts. So if this will help you enjoy your golf game a little bit better, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. so much deeper we can live better than ever thanks to peter peter von panda oh, oh, oh. peter von panda oh. it's kind of this dark hole dark hole 